Hello everyone. I think we are live. I just saw something there and I'm shocked. I see Miss Holly here and she's not even home. She's in Disneyland, Dis Disney World. I wanted to say in the Disneyland, but no, she's in Florida. So that Disney World because Disneyland is in California. I live at both places. So, uh, well, I hope, Holly, that uh, the weather, I saw you get a little bit of uh, rain today. So welcome, everybody. Um, I got odds and ends tonight. Uh, oh, what was the card we did last week? I didn't. What was it last week we did? Huh. You know what? I don't even remember what we did last week. It's not this one. Hmm. Huh. That's embarrassing. What to what to what? Oh, right here. Here we go. Got it. Okay, so um I need to, I didn't pick a winner, so next week I'm going to have to announce more winner. I look, it's nothing in the back of it. Is it something in? No. So I'm behind. It was a crazy week, really, today. So um, today I'm going to do two cards. So next week I'm going to have three winners because this Papa Bear, that was last week. I didn't do the drawing. My bad, okay? My bad. That's my mistake. So that was last week. I will do the drawing for next week uh, with the two this week. I'm going to have two cards tonight. We are using a new paper, um, stepping up and in plan to do uh, a celebration twice a year. And it didn't prove good. I mean, it was too much, to be honest, I think. So um, it's just once a year. So it's uh July, not July, but January, February, the celebration is going to be, well, they work like a year and a half, two years, and they had the paper designed for this. So they released the paper. It's got, I think we get like six paper. It's while supplies last. We're going to use the St. Nick paper tonight. Talking about paper, I got this awesome, awesome paper. Well, for me, it is awesome because I love love scenery most of you know that well this paper it is all about scenery more like spring maybe so i'm going to share that right now that's not available for purchase but if you join you can choose that because um, as a demonstrator we get a um, sneak peek and we get to order in advance not all the stuff i'm all honest here so we're going to have a new online exclusive release November 7, and that's one of them. It's got some stamp set too. We got, if you like glitter, we got a new glitter paper. It's Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock, and Island Ever. I think the colors, you got that. And if you decide to join our team, you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can choose that new product. So right now with, um, for celebration, uh, not celebration, well, celebrate stamping up 35 year anniversary. And they got two options. They got the option of 35% um, off of the starter kit or 35% more added in the starter kit. Now, don't run away. This scares some people, but it's no, absolutely no string attached. Is that pretty, Terry, that paper? I, I mean, it's so pretty. So when I say no string attached, absolutely not. So I'm going to tell you what is a demonstrator. You can join to be a discount shopper, an happy shopper, whatever you want to call that. Absolutely. Or you can join and down the road decide to do a business out of it. That's your choice. It's no string attached, meaning that you can join both ways and you don't have to make a decision about it you join and you decide if you want to stay in or not so the 35 percent uh, discount that means you get to choose 160 
I should know a, a hundred. You get to choose a hundred and twenty-five dollars of product. That's the regular uh, kit, okay? I mean, every day you get to choose a hundred and twenty-five, but usually it's ninety-nine dollars. Free shipping on that. Right now, option one, it's 35% off. It's $64.35. That's what you're going to pay. And you get it for, you get to choose $125 plus free shipping. Now, option two, you get 35% more product on $125 because usually that's what you choose. And so then you get to choose $168.75 for $99 delivered to you for no shipping. Also, you get a paper pumpkin, you get, you're invited, you can join a stamping up conference online in November. I mean, it's amazing. So let me flip you down, share the paper that I, like I said, um, I did a sample with every print, okay? So some of them see this one was together. So I did, it's like a one sheet winder. So two with a six by six, the six by six, is that beautiful? I love it. Here's another one. And this one really, it's good this way, see? Here's another one. For me, this is such a winner. And see the, the glitter paper? I put it on this one. That's the pretty peacock. Bev is watching Create on the Fly and Football. That is so funny. Here's another one. So all of it, it's kind of like an oil painting. The, the stepping up share of a video with that. I cannot remember if it was oil or pastel. Beautiful, those paintings. So this is the glitter paper too. Uh, that's a pretty petal, pretty petal, 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 whatever, that pinkish. Here, the other glitter paper I put that is Island Heather. Here is, is that beautiful? You can choose the designer series paper too if you join our team. If you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order. Um, if not, if you don't want to do that, well, November 7, and I'm afraid, or maybe not afraid, but I bet this is going to be another hot ticket uh, paper like the autumn one. I know many of you are very upset with the autumn paper, all about autumn. We, I put the post, it was in, took five, not even five hours, it was sold out. I say it's just like hot bread. Come out of the oven, poof! It's gone, okay? So estimate your right back on the 23rd. Here is another. So this one, you see the full uh, print here. And I just got that yesterday, but these layouts, I'm going to have a video on these layouts, okay? That's somebody in the team that did a challenge, and that was part of it. Here we go. Thank you, Kathleen. Yeah, number uh, 100, create on the fly. Here's another one. Here, see those little butterfly, uh, bread, but, brass butterfly go perfect with this. So this, I mean, we're just, we're not even started winter, but it's like a, a, a spring already. And this one I want to point out, see those circle? Can you see? If I put this way, oh, the dark blue, oh, here we go. So that, it's in the mini catalog, okay? That's the little one. Um, I'm afraid to bring the mini catalog here. Mine, it's like it's been around the world. It's uh, the cherry pattern. So it's this one. It's the little one that fit in the mini machine. But I'm very plain Jane. Uh, Joanne, you said the simplicity of the Oscar. Uh, that is my style. I mean, absolutely. Here's another one. So those two prints don't follow together, right? But when you open it up, see it all follow. Is that fun? And here, again. So it kind of follow, but not follow. It's the same print. So this here, it's a six by six too. Well, I have to trim the bottom, but it's two, two, two. So 
Awesome. So this, you saw all those print there in the card. So this, you can choose it. So how can you know the picture and, I mean, find it when you go join the team? When you join the team at the top there, you can click new product and that's going to bring it up. To let you know, it's uh, Mandarin Meadow. I don't know if I say the name right. It's M-E-A-N-D-E-R-I-N-G. Mandarin Meadow. I don't know. It's a darn cute meadow. Put it that way, okay? I don't care if the name, but I know it's darn cute. I love my designer series paper that it's scenery. And Stamping Up came with some of the most gorgeous scenery. The fall one, the winter one, the one horse open sleigh. It's gorgeous. Now, this year, it's not in the catalog. Okay, don't look for it in the catalog. That's one uh, uh, special edition release. So let me show you the prints. So um, we're going to work with this tonight. It, this is Pebble Path. See? And the little, uh, whatever, stocking. So one side of it, really, it can be other than Christmas. Absolutely. It's nothing really Christmassy on one side of it. See, you can use that for all occasion, all occasion. Even this one, you could use that for any occasion. It's those mail thing with mail. It can be happy mail. Don't have to be Christmas. Look how pretty. This would be beautiful for fall, don't you think? So this pack of paper, it's very um, versatile. This is very Christmassy because you get the Christmas, the rocking horse, whatever. But look on the other side. So you got a thing that it's, you know, okay, that's the same. And this is the Holly. Holly's still here. I'm sure she she's going to... I'm using that, and I bet money Holly going to use that side. See, we make a good pair. So, that is the paper we're using tonight. Don't look for it in the catalog. Again, when you shop, you can click New Release. You would see it, but it's called Traditions of St. Nick. 162355. By the way, I got all the numbers in the bottom. You're going to say, if you guys look at the description before going live, you're going to say, what the heck is she doing tonight? I got a lot of product there. A lot of it, it's stuff that you already got, and some of it you can change it. It's just, uh, I think we're going to crank it up a notch tonight, okay? Let's crank it up a notch. Okay, so the beauty about this paper now, let's back up the bus and let's bring this. And ah, I got a mess here. I hope I'm not losing nothing. So it coordinates with St. Nick. Okay, so I did um, a tip video on that, on St. Nick. I got basic way to color it, cards without coloring it. I got the tip video on the dies also. This is an awesome opening. I should have grabbed my cards. I didn't. Um, you get all the bits and pieces. I said that. I was joking. I said, when you get this die, what you're going to do is take all those little pieces and poof, make it disappear. That's me. I, I did a card with it. Don't get me wrong. But, oh, my gosh, those bits and pieces are not for me. I, it's way too time to consuming. But if you love detail, this is calling your name, okay? It got every, every detail you can imagine. Okay. So now you get, if you look at the paper, we get three Santa. Well, in the die cut, you get two Santa and also in the, the stamp set. See, you get two Santa that match perfectly, okay? So... You get, you get the stamp that match with the die, and now we get the paper that match with the die. How sweetness is that? So see, this one go with this, and this one go with this. Now, you're going to say, well, how are you going to put that in the machine? Well, here's the trick. You're going to go, and be careful because I'm using... Um, the, those trays. I mean, you don't have to be careful, but I like to be careful. I had already pre-cut some, but you know what? I'm going to cut 
again just to show you how I done this. So for me, I'm gonna save those trees, okay? Absolutely, because I'm gonna use some tonight. Now, if you see the tree, some are on the edge. Don't think because they're on the edge, they're not good to use. I'm gonna show you how I use them. So everything can be used. The only thing though, those trees, you're gonna have to end cut them. So some of you already got a panic attack. Well, you can give it to your grandkids or you can give it to your friends that like to fussy cut them. Okay, so now let's put that aside. And let me bring the die cut machine. I was not planning to cut them, just show you it go, but I want to show you how awesome they are. So let me flip this. What I love the most about this die cut, yes, I'm saying I like a die cut, blah, blah, blah. It's that it's a snug fit. Do you know what I mean by a snug fit? A lot of the time, I don't like a die cut because we get too much white around it. Did I say that out loud? I sure did. And again, we don't have to like everything the same, right? So this one here, it is as snug as snug can be. And I absolutely love it. Okay, come back here. You know what? I'm working sideways here and it's very tricky. Okay, I think I got it. See my plate, I put it up and then I'm coming down. So then it stay. I'm holding it in and, and I'm gonna roll on. Can't disappear, I'm gonna bring it right back in because I don't wanna move my camera because we're just gonna do that quick, right? So now voila, see how snug this is? And that was a reason why I decided, oh, I'm gonna cut, because I already cut two, because I want to do two cards tonight, so I pre-done some stuff. See, barely no white around. This is what I love about it. Love it, love it, love it. So, now the next one, it's the same. Because when you get all that white thing, I, a lot of time, even when I use a die cut, and all in no that, or even a punch, I'm going to do some trimming. I cannot, I don't like it. I just, I don't, I do not like green eggs and am. I do not. <laughs> Here we go. And let's do this and let's remove this and we're ready to roll on. There we go. So who's going to join my team next? Uh, who will be joining my team? It's such a good deal right now. Okay, now let me remove this. Yes, the snug fit. And like, you know, the one with the vase, I cannot think of the name. Uh, what is the name? I'm going to tell you it is... Uh, the earth, earthen texture. A lot of people think they get a damaged thing because we cut when we stamp, it cut off a bit of the stamping. That is because you get the full image. That's my kind of dye. I don't, I don't like it when it's all. See how awesome is that? Very, very little. Okay, now we're gonna use quite a few things tonight. Uh, so the gold one, I'm gonna share with you. Um, the gold one it's not um this one here we don't have the dye but you know frenchy like to end cut fussy cut you call it if voila this is the earth tone uh, vase i use and see i put one of those trees and i use this that what's this that's um Pearlized enamel effect. I get the basic and then you get the metallic. And that's what I use. So let me show you quick. So uh, like the side here, let me show you what I mean by the side. I use the other one. So let me use one here. 
So that's what I'm saying. Even the side ones are not wasted, okay? That sounds funny. You're not wasted. That could be a country song, don't you think? Okay, I know some of you are like, oh my goodness, look at her cut. I love cutting. I just love it. Remember you the right hand, well, that is if you're right-handed, the right hand, hold the scissor, open and close, the left hand, move the paper. Okay, so now you saw how simple that is to cut. You can cut many as you want, as little, and so on. Now, for these, I like to use the red in the basic one, in the pearlized one, that's the basic. And then I like to use the gold in the metallic. And the reason I get some here, uh, the reason why I like to cut those one is just, I mean, use those one. I think it's the color that go. So I just, you're just going to squeeze. One thing that I'm going to tell you, you do not want to shake these bottles. Just like the crystal effect that we used to have, you don't want to shake those bottles. The reason why you don't want to shake the bottle, it's because it's going to make, um, and some air bubble now when you're done though bang 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 boom so put it in and the reason why you want to bang it it's really the the needle there the the whatever the pointy thing you want that to be empty now i'm going to add some red uh don't be oops i don't like it when it does that so i'm going to come back here uh, don't be surprised when you get this bottle, you're going to say, this is not red, it's pink. It looked pink, but when you use it, it's red. I thought, mm, I don't think, see, it looked kind of pink, right? It's not pink. Okay, so now this, hopefully it's going to be dry to finish. It takes, I would say, in here in Cheyenne, a thing dry, like in a split second, pretty much just because it's so darn dry but uh, if i would be in texas i think i would wait a, a day or two it all depends so here we go so now we're going to move that along let's hope i don't make a fiasco okay look this one i just did the red so they're very easy so this one i hand cut not only that i hand cut that see even the inside of the reed because i cannot stand those white thing like i said so i am cut the inside of that see the cape it's a very very older fashioned saint nick and if you see uh, stamping up the uh, it's not all just one race of Santa. So that's what it's another thing that it's beautiful about this. So let me move that one. So this one I did it and see that's the paper that I talked uh, about. It's the, ba uh, the back of one paper, very simple. It's quick because you don't have really stamping to do. Now the first one I'm gonna do is this is the goal envelope with uh, the gold envelopes and the the cardstock they are on page 73 i think no not 73 it is on, okay 76 76 on page 76 right here you get 20 cards base and 20 envelopes for 12 dollars the quality of it is very lovely. Maybe you're going to be uh, kind of scared to get it because some we had about three years ago were very thin. These one are between, um, I would say, the regular cardstock and the thick cardstock, something in between that. Now, that's what I'm using for my Christmas card. I've been working on them. And the funny part, after doing, uh, I got a hundred something done, uh, I'm like, oh, I think it is kind of a front and back of that. See this one, it's more distress. I, I think that should be the front, personally. And then when I turn it, see, it's less distress. So it doesn't matter, but we're going to use this side. And see, it matched with the envelope. So you don't even have to stamp the envelope. It's all jazzed up for when you send it. Awesome. 
Okay, so now I got the one with uh, the green. Uh, I would like to do the the dots. We're going to do that at the end because I don't want to stop in between. Okay, so one minute here. I get something that pop up here. Here we go. So I got I pre cut. This is um, mossy. Uh, no, uh, do, 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 do. that's funny. I cannot even think of my colors now. What the heck I was thinking. Yeah, it is Mossy Meadow. Mossy Meadow. My goodness, Frenchie. Mossy Meadow. This is two and three eight. Now, I got the gold distress. Uh, that's low inventory. So if you want some, uh, that's another one. It come in, it come out, it come in and come out. It's just like a gopher. Seriously, like a gopher. In and out, in and out. Um, the gold distress. I love it just because I love this dress, right? And not only that, uh, this is very, very thin, though, okay? I'm going to warn you, very thin. That's the way it is. So I'm going to put this layer there. Now, um, I wanted a greeting that fit in a circle, and then I came, I'm bringing the, this is in the regular catalog, Okay. Merry Christmas from the Regal Reindeer. That's what I'm bringing in. And we're going to use the greeting inside to wishing you a wonderful season filled with all the good things that warm your... Huh? No. Well, that's not what I had here. Let me get that one. I had another one. I don't know which one it is. It's what I'm using in my cart. Um, okay, the other greeting that I had out, it's very best occasion. May your day be happy, your art be light, your Christmas merry, and the new year bright. I like that. So I, I can use one or the other. It doesn't matter. Okay? Now I'm going to bring a mossy metal ink. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Oh, I caught right in your ears, right? Yeah, you can uh, cut that in half, but the price, really, uh, Verna, it's all, it's almost cheaper than the, uh, the card stop. So for me, cutting it in half and have a card front, Verna is saying a demonstrator cut this in half and use this at a, a card front and this. Well, at the price it is, uh, for $12, you get 20 cards and you get 20 envelopes. I don't think uh, your envelope and your card stock would be more cheap than using the full card, right? So I, you could do that, absolutely. But for me, I think this is a very, very good value. And plus, uh, it comes with the envelope. So now we're going to raise him up. And plus, I love the back of it decorated. Oh, not that. I don't want that up. Okay, I just am. And I absolutely love Old St. Nick. Well, I think I love Old St. Nick. My sister, the oldest in the family, she's obsessed with St. Nick. She loves them. Now I'm going to put that here. Okay. Now, you know what's going to happen? I didn't think about that. I need to anchor this guy. Right? Um, but then if I use stamping blends, it's going to go through the card under the other side. So I cannot use stamping blends. So let me get sponge dauber. Sponge dauber and uh, which color? I'm going to use um, um, pebble pad. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let me um, pebble pad. Oh, it's almost too dark though. Let me do smoky uh, slate. Smoky slate. I want a light color for the bottom, absolutely. Smoky slate it is. 
So, oh, this stubber, it's, it, it's time for me to switch it. I'm going to keep that right there, and I'm just going to go right under a bit. For me, I I have to anchor my stuff. Maybe that's a mark of me, but I just need something to anchor my stuff. I cannot let them flow. If voila, see how much better it is. And you know what? Doy, look, they anchor all their image are anchor in here. Oh, the O's code, honey, you can go at frenchystamps.com and right on the right side, you get the host code. Um, you know what? I'm going to tell you the O's code. And I know Michelle are all way there fast typing. One of them going to put it. The O's code for October is Z, C, J4, T, Y, to V. I'm going to leave it there just for a second there. ZC J4 TY 2V. There we go. Okay, so now you see the difference it makes. Just anchor that. I really think that it's just one more step, but it makes a big difference. Now I got. I don't know the size here. Let's see. I, I I don't know. Oh, here it is upside down. That's why. Um, okay, I got a three and three quarter by five. And this one it's four and three quarter by three and a half. It's a smaller insert that I did. I just grabbed some paper before going live, to be honest. Like I said, I'm doing two cards, so. Hmm. Am I still on? That's weird, because usually, let's see what happened there. Here we go. And then I'm going to stamp this. Voila. Perfect, perfect. Now, remember, is it dry or not? Okay, we're going to wait to finish this because see, this is going to go right at the edge there. See, that's how you can use the edge. So, but I cannot glue it quite yet, okay? Because it's not quite dry. So, I'm going to put the inside. Oh, I'll be just walking and the dogs are going nuts. Let me shut the door. Here we go. Okay. So, how about that? Is that the, I mean, it's so simple. So simple. Okay, we're going to put the tree in there, though. So let's leave that aside for now. The next one. The next one, I got all kind of jazz on it, all kind of stuff that I got out. Okay, I want to share a Timbits with you. The Timbits is, I shared that more than once, but sometimes I forget my own uh, tips. So I'm using the scallop contour, the third one. So really the center one there. And I was cutting this, and I put it this way. It was not engaging well at all, not at all. So I'm like, oh, yeah, anytime you get a rectangle, a triangle, uh, anything, you want to tilt it a little bit. So when you're going to pass it in the die cut machine, it's going to start a smaller piece to engage, and it's going to roll very smooth. Well, if you got it straight this way, try to engage all that. It's too hard on the machine. So to make it very smooth, engaging, and that goes sideways, okay? 
and that's going to make a very difference. That's the scallop contour. That's what I'm saying. I'm using a lot of product tonight, a lot more than usually, but it's, um, um, you can use stuff you already get on in, okay? Now, this is this brand I said, Ollie would use this side, I would use this side. And this could be for any occasion and also would be awesome for fall. So um, I cut it in strip of four, of course, because 12 by 12, if you cut it in strip of four, you can do like six card with one sheet if you do the full background, okay? And now I'm going to cut at five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to use, uh, I need one of this for the inside. I'm going to cut this at um, three and three quarter. Hmm. Well, it's done. Three and three quarter by five. It's not what I wanted, not at all. And then my white one, so it's going to be a smaller, uh, uh, um, that's going to be three and a half by four and three quarter. And this looks too big here. Okay, now... I got a white here that, okay, this measure four and a quarter by 11 and score at five and a half. I always keep some of that on the end, so I just grab it and ready to roll. Now I need, okay, change my mind as I go. I need five and three quarter. by four and a quarter. Okay, let's see what, what fiasco I got here. Okay, that's gonna work. It's not what I was thinking. First I had the other base, and I cut different size. It's gonna work. Okay, voila. Now, this one, we're going to use the red Santa. And the red Santa, I am using a new, a new, um, this is a new release. They released that during, uh, for world card making. It's the Exacon, Artfill Exacon. And that, it's something else I wanted to do with that, but this went tonight. Um, that again, it's not in any catalog. It will be in the coming spring catalog, but it's released for everybody right now. So you can purchase that. I am using the Devil Oval Punch. So I, I think I get them someplace. Yep, yep. Here we go. Now let's uh, stamp our greeting. Oh, I had that in. I want to... Um, Squeaky, squeaky clean. I think that I'm going to use Pebble Pat. Okay, let me grab Pebble Pat. I thought to use green too with that one. I don't think so now. Okay, I'm going to use the same greeting though on the hovo. Merry Christmas. And then inside, we're going to put the greeting. Et voila. A little bit cockeyed. That dad just approved that it's all made. The color of the paper, this is Pebble Pat. Pebble Pat. Okay, this. Going to go with this. Pebble pad it is. And we're going to put that inside. I like this side border inside. See that? 
I think that looked pretty good. Okay, now this gonna go. Well, then I'm not sure. Maybe we're gonna use the this and this, and then I think this gonna go this way. That's what I was thinking before going live. Gather my stuff. Yep, pebble pet. See how good it goes in there. And then we're gonna put that there. You know what? I thought to use the ribbon, but it's, you know what? Sometimes you want to stop. You don't have to use it all, even if you get it all, because. Oh, yeah, I think so there. Okay, let's do that. Because sometimes, you know, we try to, oh, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more would look good. And then it looks so, um. Uh, messy dirty uh what can i say sometimes we try to put too much ollie i'm full of surprise you're gonna be surprised all my christmas card well it's the one that i did um is that one? the one that we done at um for the our christmas thing it was all layer inside. I'm doing all my card like that. I love it. I'm not afraid to use my my paper. It's all the layer of like those die cut. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I just say a word that's just start coughing. See, I'm allergic to that. Here we go. And now, we're going to put this down. You have to be careful on how much uh, layer you're going to put. The post office in Cheyenne lately, I got so many card bags. Well, 127 last month. Uh, crazy. And it, oops, it was not very thick. It, uh, I mean, I had one little bump on it. Yep, they say it won't go in the machine. So I'm like, dang, gum it. Here we go. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Okay, this is going to go there and this is going to go there. Holy moly, Magali. That's a lot of thing for Frenchie, but I love it. And you see, that's very simple, though. It looks like a lot, but really it's not a lot because it's... um. You got all the stamping, well, not the stamping, but the image, it's done. It's all color. That paper, it's gorgeous. And not only, uh, it could be for other occasion, right? Okay, this one, it's pretty much anchor because we got that thing there. So that I can deal with that. Absolutely. That I can deal with that. Then this is going to come right here. So the only thing that it's raised up, it's St. Nick. The rest, it's all down, okay? Now, let me, where is, oh, here it is. Okay, I think we can add, yeah, see, it's not bad at all. That, I'm going to put it flat. I mean, not bad. It's dry. What you would not use together, uh, the oval and this, I was looking for another, because I didn't want pebble pad in the back, and I didn't want to eat and boss it with white. That would, uh, what I would have had to do. So I was limited on how I could pop that up, and I was like, mm. and you know, I didn't look through my dice. Of course not. Well, I had the smoky slate. Might as well use smoky slate again because I already had it instead of the. Uh, because I need to anchor this. For me, maybe you guys don't see the difference. For me, it make a huge difference. See, now the tree it's not floating. So this one match with this. How beautiful it is. And now, um, 
now that the inside is done, I can add, I just want to add very little on this one, okay? You know what? No, 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 no. Because it don't walk with a Christmas tree that get ornament on it. I, that don't make sense. Silly me. Gosh. They're crazy. Right, boys? That's crazy. That's the way I talk to my dog. Okay, so no no little dots on this one. Inside, yes, because it's down and it's decorative. But uh, I don't think Santa is walking with a tree that got ornament on it, okay? And here is this one. And see, I get this little tree and I get this, this. See, I did some in advance. So we're going to open that up and... This one is very cockeyed, but it's full of love. Yeah, or this little one. Which one? I'm going to put the little one. Okay, so we're going to glue that to red. And so uh, the cardstock, it's pebble pad, but my shading here, it's... Um, Smoky Slate, just to anchor that a little bit. See? Et voila. Now, let's crank it up a notch. One more notch, one more notch. What is one more notch? Okay. I, oh, it don't fit, it don't fit. Well, one minute, get more paper. Why am I saving the paper for, right? Holy moly, Magali, I got a mess here. Okay, we're going to go, um, here it is. We will use, um, what is it? Is it two and a half? One minute. I think it's two and a half. Measure twice. Okay, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. So let's go two and a quarter. Uh, and then five and three quarter. Now, I like to put my glue right here. You want to make sure the edge, it's you get plenty secure because that's going to go in the machine, okay? Now go right at the edge. Never mind the bottom. That's not important. It's the top here, right at the edge. Go right there. Smack that there. Oh, the wrong size. Ding, gum it. Well, too late. It's going to be the holly. Holly Magali. So, um, and then trim. I wanted this side to match that. But you know what? I know after the live, I bet I'm going to do another one. See, and just trim. I know some of you are going to say, uh, we got a die for that. We used to have a die. For me, this is a lot faster than a die, okay? You just go from the, the back side of it and trim that. Et voila. So now that don't match. It's just plain annoying. I will do another one. I'm going to flip it this way. <laughs> Here we go. So that is it. So what do you think of this beautiful paper? make dirt look pretty you guys are funny this paper it's gorgeous you don't have to do nothing to it it's like the other one i show you at the beginning you don't have to do nothing to it the work it's done for you see the work it's very done for you so looking where is the other uh... so if you miss what the heck here it is if you miss the beginning, the meaning, whatever, meadow, you can get it if you join or wait till November 7th. I show all these cards at the beginning, so you can watch the replay when you're done. You miss all those beautiful cards. Yeah, give the envelope to Ollie. Absolutely, yeah. I know she's going to use it with very, very much so. Be proud of it. So that is it for this. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, that paper, we don't know how long it's going to last. It's like an early release. 
you get the direct link right below to order if you choose to get that amazing deal uh, 64 dollars and some pennies you get to choose 125 product free shipping no string attached you can choose that or if you choose the 99 dollar deal and you get to choose 168 dollars and some pennies 75 cents i think you can choose that or you can order that paper right now the one you cannot order it's the the meadow that i show you all the cards that i did there the rest it's all fair game uh the i know the distress paper was low inventory so i'm not sure when it say low inventory that mean more is gonna come so that's about it my friend i hope you enjoyed this now uh abby just got home not long ago i'm gonna go feed him so I did an a awesome, awesome meatloaf tonight, mashed potato and peas. So I'm a little bit hungry. So till next time, and two, I get a batch of uh, chow chow going. So I've been a little um, go-getter today. I love doing stuff like that. Um, till next time, happy stamping, my friends. Bye-bye for now.